Hello, viewers. Today, I have some awesome news. Rolf Gunther is coming over with his new race car, and I'm so excited. P.S. For those who are wondering, this is a LEGO set review. Hmm, he should be here by now. Oh, he's here. Hello, Mr. Gunther. Hello, J-Rod. What? Oof! Sorry I'm late. Accident on the highway. Couldn't go fast enough. Oh, it's okay. Wait a minute. How fast is not fast enough? Uh, let's talk about how fast I was going a little later. Okay... Anyways, like my car. Yeah, it's a beauty, all right. Would you mind showing the viewers at home your car? It would be my pleasure. Folks, this is the Mercedes-AMG GT3. This high-tech sports car can reach speeds of 206 miles an hour. A 0 to 60 of about 3 seconds. A twin-turbo V8 petrol engine. And 503 horsepower. Whoa, that's incredible! Yep, it sure is. Now that we've looked up the real car, can you show us how well LEGO did in making it realistic? Certainly. Looking from the front of the car, you can see that it's six studs wide. LEGO did a good job in adding the Mercedes symbol and also the light fixtures to make him look more smooth. Now looking from the front of the real car, you can see that it's much wider than the LEGO pictures. And also, the real car is much smoother with the lines. Unfortunately, if LEGO makes it six studs wide, like they do with all the other cards, they look too short and stocky. And they're also not smooth enough. My suggestion to LEGO would be to make them eight studs wide to make them look much lower and wider like they really are. Now looking from the side of the car, you can see LEGO did a good job putting the racing stripe on. They also did good making the wheels yellow. And they also did a good job with the ventilation, both with the bricks on the side of the car and also the stickers. Now looking from the side of the real car, if you look closely near the exhaust pipe, you can see there's another ventilation, which Lego missed. You can also see that the window is much more like a bubble versus the Lego one is more jagged. Lego should have made a much smoother piece for the window. And they also should have added another sticker for that exhaust pipe. Now looking from the other side of the car, you can see that LEGO did a good job in making sure that the sides were angled and adding the AMG symbol. Now looking from the side of the real car, you can see that the angle isn't as dramatic as it was on the LEGO car. LEGO would have been better off using a 1x2 flat brick instead of the angled brick. It would have looked much more realistic. You can also see that LEGO missed the two circles on the back of the window. Now looking from the rear of the LEGO car, you can see LEGO did a good job in adding the AMG symbol again, and also making the lights flow. Now looking at the back of the real car, you can see that the lights do indeed flow. You can also see once again LEGO needs to make wider. But on the back you can see exhaust pipes. But don't worry, this is the street model of the car. The racing model looks much more like the LEGO one. This is the best part of the LEGO car. It looks the most realistic. Now you may be wondering how LEGO managed to get the lights at that angle. Well, here's how. They used 1x2 tiles. And what they do is they're only connected by one stud. So if you push the other side of the tile... Voila! It's at an angle. Wow! That's genius! Yep. Another great thing about this car is it's street legal. What? No way. This thing is a high-tech racing machine. Oh, but it is. There's a street legal one in real life, and LEGO did something genius again. Watch this. Wow, that's incredible. Thanks for showing me your car. Oh, and by the way, 
How fast were you going before you got yeah, here? Yeah, it is a beautiful car, but uh, I'm sorry, I can't stay in chat. I gotta go. Yeah, eat lunch. I gotta go eat lunch. So, uh, bye. Wow, I'm really glad that Rolf Gunther came over. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Oh, and P.S. I'm starting to wonder if Rolf Gunther was speeding. Based on how many times he interjected me when I asked him how fast he was going. He was probably seeing if that car could really go 206 miles an hour. Huh. Guess we'll never know.